Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack, and this week we have information for you about preparing your wood prior to painting. Some of the different preparations. We also have a tutorial, more or less, a demonstration how to carve a sticky crocodile. A couple of different Easter projects for you. And some information about carving with the grain against the grain and uh, what's the difference and how to illustrate that. Well today folks, just like every week, I'm going to put links in the description below this video and then also in the comments section and that's where you're going to find all the resources that I talk about throughout this episode. Let's get started. Well, let's start off at the YouTube channel called Mark D. Maker. That's where Mark Taylor is providing some information this week on how to prep your wood carving prior to painting and some of the different options that you have and you could use. Now, he gives some history on acrylic paint, including the year that it actually was invented or created. He talks a little bit about things like boiled linseed oil, gesso, fabulon, flow medium, and a variety of different spray varnishes, other options that you can use to prepare or to seal a carving. It's an informative video. And you can tell that Mark has a passion for this. He uh, demonstrates some of the intricate carvings that he's done, and he shows some bird carvings in particular, and talks about some of the challenges with just the oil from your skin getting on the wood prior to painting. So there's a lot to learn. Go check it out. Well, we have a couple of Easter projects to share with you today. And over at Four Oaks Crafts, Stephen Johnson is going to be sharing some information about how he repurposes a wooden spoon. Now, Stephen has been a woodworker for more than 25 years. He has a website where you can find information and resources about tools, project plans, ebooks, all kinds of things. He also has a YouTube channel, and this week he has published a video that shows how he takes a $6 wooden spoon from the grocery store and repurposes the bowl of the spoon, that curved portion, into a beautiful cross pendant. It's kind of an interesting project. And I can tell you the video quality is really good. Go take a look. And the other Easter project for you today, another cross. A new blog post from Carving Junkies, Dana and David, have put together a tutorial on how to carve a cross with a flower on it for the Easter holiday. Now there's a short video on their YouTube channel. And then on their website, in the blog post, you'll find lots more information about carving this particular uh, cross, including a pattern, step-by-step -step photos, progress photos, and a painting guide. Everything you'll need from start to finish. And in addition to this Easter project, you'll find lots of other resources there on the website. Enjoy. Well, over at the Carving is Fun YouTube channel, Brian has a brand new video that was published just today. In this video, Brian is describing and illustrating the difference between carving with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain. Now, he uses a, a bundle of straws to help demonstrate how the wood grain flows and what happens when you're trying to carve with it, across, or against it. It's a good demonstration and very informative. He does a great job of explaining in less than three minutes. And I think that the visuals in this video will be very helpful for anyone who's struggling with understanding wood grain. Take a look. Well, over at the Steve Hunter Wood Carving YouTube channel, Steve is killing some time. Yep, he's waiting for something to happen. And while he does, he grabs a little toy, a little sticky crocodile toy that belongs to his daughter. And he says, mm, let me see if I can replicate that in a carving. So he takes a piece of one by one wood, maybe three inches long or so, and starts whittling away and uh, ends up with this little crocodile shape. Now, this project was not planned. And he says, you know, sometimes if you get carver's block, it's a good thing to look around the house and see what you have. See if you have a figurine or a toy that you could try to replicate in the wood. This is a one knife whittle from start to finish, and I think you'll like it. Take a look. Next, we'll travel to Australia in the Blue Mountains of Australia. That's where the Andy Spoons YouTube channel originates. Now, Andy also has a website where he sells his hand-carved wooden spoons that he sources from the local mountains there. 
And in this latest video, by the way, he has 340 videos on his YouTube channel. The latest video, he's doing a product review on a sharpening kit that was sent to him from a company in Sweden called the Spoon Crank. And he kind of shows you what you get uh, with the kit. And then he, in the process of checking it out, demonstrates how he sharpens a Sloyd knife, which he uses, of course, for spoon carving. So it's an interesting video. Uh, it's an interesting sharpening system. You may want to take a look. This next video comes from the Mora Knife website, YouTube channel, I should say. They have more than 140 videos available. And in this next video that uh, was just published, they have a master class demonstration, taking a birch log and turning it into a really nice looking spatula. Now the person in this video is a brand ambassador for Mora Knife. His name is Shue Nagano. And in the video, you'll see him using a carving hatchet to really do the majority of the work. Kind of made me nervous a little bit because he kept on chopping and chopping. I thought he's not going to have enough left here <laughs> to make a spatula. But he does. Interesting thing, too, uh, after he's finished with the hatchet, he takes out a Mora knife. And this thing is like a hunting knife. It's huge. And he masterfully uses it. I think you'll have fun watching the video. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting. It looks like at one portion he takes a twig and he uses a twig to sort of burnish the surface of the spatula wood. Um, yeah, a lot going on there. Check it out. Folks, I want to thank everyone. We're over 1,000 subscribers now. And every time you hit that like button, it really does help let other carvers know about the channel. So thank you for the support. See you next week.